All right, little heli cycle up date. Master switch on, heard the governor come alive. Master avionics on. Panel is alive. Let's go to action, end current flight. Oops. Okay. All right, that is what screen one looks like. I'm missing the dual rotor tack on this one. But screen two, it's got the rotor tack, GPS, all the screen three. Good one to fly across country. Got your GPS here, your engine and altitude and everything. Screen four. You got your dual tacks. Screen five. This is this will show altitude and be screen six. Kind of more of an airplane configuration there, but and there's screen seven. So I can reconfig these screens too around any way I want to. I just thought I'd give you a quick close up of the screens there. And it actually seems to be push on the up and down on the helicopter and it's moving like it's supposed to. But anyway, there's an update on the panel itself. Anyway, it's getting closer. Uh, radio works. Uh, the headlight works on this button. And the starter is on this button. But you have to flip the switch down here to activate this starter button so you can't, so it won't start. quick hit there. Same with the start fuel and the exciter. Operate it off of the switch. Anyway. That's what she's looking like so far. Now, I'm fixing to start on the uh, sensors now. There's an engine speed sensor right there. And then I got a transmission temperature here. And then I got the fuel gauge here. And um, I got an oil pressure down here, oil temperature here left to do um, there's a pressure on the other side right here and I think that is all of the sensors Oh, I still got to wire from here to the battery. I got that to do. In fact, I may try to do that after dinner tonight. Get that done and out of the way. And then start running all the gauges. Theoretically, put gas in it right now and it should fire right up. 
although I don't have the gains set to the starting positions on the governor yet. I got to do that still. But it's getting there. <laughs>